Good morning, Stitchy friends. I'm Kelsey from the Cross Stitch Farmhouse. This is my dog, Mocha. And this is floss tube number four. It's the morning of March 10th. It's been about three weeks since my last video. And I have, I have a lot to show you guys, so I'm excited. Let me put her down, though, because she wants to go take a nap. She's my little sidekick, though. It does everything with me. So if you guys hear her walking around, that's who it is. Okay, let me think. What has been going on since my last video? I had uh, my birthday, so I turned 31. Uh, my parents got me the chicken salad sew along kit for my birthday. I was talking about that in the last video, so I'm excited to get started on that. I already started cutting fabric out this week and I decided I'm going to go for the applique chickens. I know last time I wasn't too sure, but a few of you on here and even my mom had told me there's other ways to do the applique that are a little bit easier. So I think I'm going to go for it. They're just so cute. I have to try, <laughs> but thank you again, mom and dad. I know you guys watch. Um, thank you for that again. I love it and I'm really excited to see the progress on it. I probably will share quilt progress each floss tube now at the end of the video though. So if you're not interested, you don't have to watch it. What else? Um, I had a tattoo appointment like two weeks ago. Um, a lot of you who follow me on Instagram know I have this arm almost completely done. I'm a big nerd. I love the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. And so I ended up getting a, um, it's a whole Shire piece on my upper arm. So I'm not gonna share it on here today. It's looking pretty gross, it's peeling, but I will share pictures on Instagram if you're interested in that. I know quite a few of you are also um, tattoo girls, so excited for that. Probably the most exciting thing that's happened since last time though is I hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. I, like I said, at the beginning, I thought I would have maybe 30 of you on here that just we are friends on Instagram. So I was really surprised to hit a thousand. Thank you all so, so much. Um, I'm enjoying doing these and so I'm going to keep going as long as you guys want to keep watching. I, I just can't thank you all enough though. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And anybody returning again, thank you for being here. If there's anything you want to see or you would like me to talk about, always feel free to ask or leave comments. Um, I love interacting with you guys on here and I just, I'm so thankful. I love talking about stitching and it's so great that this can kind of bring us all together in this way. I had um, a few floss tubers shout me out also. Thank you all so much. I started following a lot of new channels that I'd never heard of. So I think it's great that we can kind of keep the cross stitch community going in this way and following each other on social media, finding floss tube channels. It's just, it's so much fun. I did have a couple of questions, so I'll go ahead and do those first. That way we get them out of the way. Um, Colleen Isaac asked for a tour of my craft room. Uh, I can do that. We're kind of in the middle of my husband redoing the closet and it's honestly a mess in here right now. I have like, I have stuff from Christmas that I haven't put away yet. It's just sitting in the corner over here. So give me time to let him finish the closet up. I will clean this room really good and then I'll give you a tour that you'll actually want to watch. Cause let me tell you right now, you would be like, this is chaos. <laughs> Um, I also had a lot of you ask for a ruffle finish tutorial. I had talked about it in my, I think, second or third video. Um, so I will do that. I'm planning on filming that next week. So I will get um, everything set up. I finally have a stand for my camera that I will be able to film in an over-the-shoulder kind of way. So I will get that done next week and hopefully it should be up Wednesday or Thursday. So watch for that. And then I had one more person ask about the fabric for Santa's Village. They just wanted to know, again, the total size of the fabric they would need if they're stitching it all together. 
it depends on the count. I'm using 28 count, so I bought a piece that's 27 by 36 inches. If you're using a different size, I would suggest using a cross stitch calculator that you could type in your fabric count and the total number of stitches. That will give you a definite answer and then you can go from there. But if you're doing 28 count, a 27 by 36 inch piece of fabric is more than enough. I will have fabric left over. Okay, so previous finishes, I have two things to show you guys. The first one is a piece that my Uncle Ray did. Um, I thought it would be fun to show this one. I've talked about how I love patriotic stitches, sam samplers, all that. And this kind of fits in with that. Um, I usually have it hanging in my hallway, but I'm thinking about moving it into my craft room. We'll see. But this is a Sue Hillis design and it's called An American's Pledge. It's a big one. <laughs> so this is one he wrote on the back that he did it in 2003. I'm going to try and give you a close up. I'm not sure what fabric he used. If I had to guess, it's probably a 30 or 32 count, um, but I don't know a whole lot about it. I just love it. So like I said, I'm thinking about moving that in here. And then the other piece I have to show you is a spring one that I did in 2020, I believe. And I forgot to get the um, chart out to show you guys, so sorry. But this is by Scattered Seed Samplers. It's spring delivery. And here is how I display that. I have this Ray Dunn hop basket and I just fill it with some fake tulips. And I'll give you a close up of the stitching. I used all the called for colors on this and I think the fabric is just a coffee tea dyed Monaco, probably 28 count. And I, um, I used Priscilla's idea of a paint stir stick covered in fabric to hold it up in the basket. So thank you for that idea, Priscilla. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't fall over. I think we're good. Okay. I didn't have any fully finished pieces this time. I've kind of been slacking on that. I'm just, I need some inspiration and some ideas, but I did finish this. It's by Stitching with the Housewives. The Bless This Farm chart had a freebie attached to it called Farm Sweet Farm. And here it is. Love that little cow. I used all the called for and it's on 28 count black Monaco. I also started Bless This Farm. Just got a tiny bit of the corn done right there. But this is the piece I'm going to put a ruffle finish on. So this will be a nice one. It's smaller. It's just a little square. So it'll be really good to do the tutorial on it. It'll be quick, it'll be easy, and hopefully you guys will understand how I do it. But again, really cute. I'm gonna do all their farm themed smalls like this and put them in a tiered tray in my kitchen for the summer. So there's that one. And I don't remember if I said I'm using all the called for. This is, if I'm being honest, this is the second time I'm filming this because the first time, I don't know what happened and I don't know why I didn't catch it earlier. I got like halfway through the video and I realized it wasn't recording. So, I, you know, that's me though. <laughs> All right, next I worked on Fall on the Farm by Little House Needleworks. This is the old farmhouse, chart number two. I had started this in the last video and I finished it up. Ooh, it's been like a week or two now. I feel like it's been so long since I filmed one of these. 
but here is my progress. And I'll try and give you a close up of just number two. Really love this. It's on the called for fabric and I'm using all the called for colors. Love it though. And I saw, I think it's Vanna. She came out with a border to go around the whole design. It's so cute. And I, at first I was like, oh, I don't think I'm going to do it. But every time I go look at it now, I'm like, mm, I think I need to add that. So I'm going to get a few more charts done and then decide. So probably going to do it though. <laughs> So there's that one. I'll probably start chart three this weekend. Really, again, I love that one. The colors are beautiful. And this is everybody's favorite, it seems. Santa's Village. You guys are loving this one. So am I. So last time I was working on North Pole Post Office. And I have finished that. So now I am working on Mrs. Claus's cookie shop. So cute. Let me back up for this one because it's big. <laughs> Here's what I have done. Really love this. The colors all pop so well on this fabric. Again, it's just coffee tea dyed. Uh, it's not Monaco. It's um, by Zweigart. It just even weave. Really beautiful though. The white pops so well. And like I said, so this is what I'll have extra on this side. And I should have a little extra on the bottom. Um, and this is the 27 by 36 inch fabric. So here's a close up of chart three. And then working on chart four. The little Santa and Mrs. Claus are so cute. This is one that I'm, um, if you're new to the channel, I'm stitching one a month until I, it should be done in November. So I'll have it ready for this Christmas. And on the first of each month is when I start the new chart. And sometimes, let me tell you, it is hard not, not to start early. But I really don't want to burn myself out on it. I tend to really enjoy new starts. And so if I get one done, put it away for the rest of the month, and then start fresh on the first, I feel like that's what's keeping me wanting to go on it. A lot of fun though. Again, in my dot dot goose bag, I will link her Etsy. Love these bags. Okay, and this was a quick random little start that I just saw on Instagram and I knew I had to stitch it. So this is by, I'm probably gonna say it wrong. I do every time. Pinker and Pumpkin Stitches, Stitching. Um, I'll link her, her blog. She puts out a lot of freebie charts, which is so great. And they're all really cute. I have a ton of them saved now that I want to do. But this is Bees, Blooms, and Chickens. I believe that's what it's called. And here's what I have on this. I'm not using any of the called for colors. I'm just pulling stuff that I have on hand. And it's on a tea coffee dyed even weave again. Really small chart, so it's going to be super quick to get done. I only have a little bit more to do over here and down here. I'm thinking I might pull that green and make it a little lighter just to match other B summary charts that I have so they all look well or they look good together um, when I display them. But really cute. And who doesn't love chickens and bees? They're perfect together. Okay, and then I also got a little bit, okay, I got a little bit done on the stocking that I'm doing for my husband. This is a dimensions kit. 
So again, if you're new to the channel, I'm having every member of my family pick a stocking out and I'm going to get them all stitched up so we can have really cute cross-stitch stockings hanging on. Plug for my husband, the fireplace he's gonna build me. <laughs> I know I keep bringing it up, but if I keep saying it, it's gonna happen. I'm willing it into existence. But here's what it looks like. And last time I showed it, I think I just had the snowman and a little background done, just his face. So I've gotten a little bit more done. This is Santa's upper body. The present's pretty much finished. And these are the edge stitches. So I'm side to side. I know how wide it will be. Again, love this one. Um, I'm excited to get it done. I'm hoping I can have it finished by Christmas. So if I do one stocking a year, that would be amazing to me. I think next I'm going to let my daughter Jaden pick hers out. And I'm pretty sure I know which one she's going to pick. But I'm excited to see. Then the last thing I worked on was the Harry Potter chart that I talked about in my, I think in my second video was the last time I showed it. I haven't worked on it in a while, but I randomly picked it up the other day and I couldn't put it down. I think I worked on it for four days, just nonstop. Something about it got me hooked. But here is my progress. And I'll try and give you a close up. I love that cauldron. And then we have some of the scarf done. Again, his owl is going to go here. There's potion bottles. There's spell books. This is a wand. So it's starting to come together and I'm loving it. Again, a little nervous for the back stitching. It didn't come with instructions. Um, I wasn't super happy with the kit in general, but the design is just too cute to not try and finish. And once I do get it done, it will hang up here on this wall behind the camera in my craft room. This is where I keep all my nerdy girl stuff. So loving that. Okay. I had a little bit of haul. Like I said, my parents got me that chicken salad kit and I have been getting a, a lot of cutting out done on that. And then my husband for my birthday was kind of like, I don't know what to get you. I, you know, like we're doing a lot of projects around the house. So he's like, what do you, what do you want? And so I was like, don't worry about it. I'll order something off that quarter shop that I've been eyeballing. So I got the Lori Holt Be My Bonnet cross stitch stand. Really love this. Um, it's got a ton of pockets. You can put your chart in here. I keep a chapstick in here because I use chapstick religiously. <laughs> so it's been great. I've used it every day since I ordered it and definitely recommend it. You will use it. Then I also got a couple charts from them. I am in the Little House Needleworks Fall on the Farm Club. You guys know I already showed it, but here's the third chart. This is No Crows Allowed. And how cute is that little scarecrow? This has a lot of blank space too, so it should be really quick to get done. The border takes the most time usually, for me anyway. And then I also got Santa's Village number five, Santa's Stocking Store. So I'm excited to start that on April 1st. Okay, and then I also, like I said, my printer just quit on me. I haven't ordered a new one. I really need to do that. But I ordered some charts on Etsy from Primrose Cottage Stitches. They... Oh, we had Market. I forgot to talk about Market. You guys, so many great new charts. I ordered a ton. Um, they'll probably be here in about a month, so I can't wait to show you guys what I got. But Primrose Cottage Stitches has these B charts they put out. They're so cute. They had two, like two or three B designs already, 
but they came out with three more and they are all a must on my list. So I ordered those and I saw that uh, Christy at Java Girl Stitches is doing like a bee themed Tuesday stitch. So any bee charts, you can stitch along with her. She has a hashtag for it. I'll add it in the show notes. I think it's it be Tuesday or something like that. I'll make sure and add it below though so you guys can go check it out, follow her and stitch some bee stuff because why not? Um, and then I think Primrose is going to do something similar in April. So that'll be fun. And that'll give me plenty of time to get all that stitched up and ready to go for late summer decorating. But when I went to Hobby Lobby earlier this week, I, they had a ton of bee stuff in the spring section. So I'll show you guys what I got from there. This one is really cute. It's just a little enamel sign. They had three different sayings too. I think it was a happy, blessed, and grateful maybe. Um, I loved this one. I have a lot of bee themed Ray Dunn stuff. So I thought this would go good with that. And spring section, everything's 40% off. So really good deals. They also had this, which I thought would go cute in a tiered tray. It's really small if you compare it to my hand. So that's really cute. And then I found this that would look nice in a tiered tray or just leaned up against a larger stitch piece. It says Be Sweet and Bumble. I'm probably going to cut the little rope off of it because I'm not going to hang it up, but really cute. And then in kind of the kitchen, they had Raydon kitchen, a lot of cutting boards. They had these little, I don't even know what this would be, like a, it's like a paddle, but it's round, I guess. Really cute though, and I thought a round finish would go so perfect on here, and you could lean it up against something. I'm thinking of a piece for my kitchen maybe, or even a tiered tray. It would fit in a tiered tray fine. So I thought that was really cute. This is probably my favorite. Love this. It says Honeybee Lane. And how cute is this gonna be on my entry table surrounded by bee stitching? Ooh, I love it. Baby, if you're watching, turn this off. You don't need to see what I bought. <laughs> Okay, did I have anything? Oh, I had one more thing. I found this in the Easter section. It says, everybody welcome. And I thought this would be perfect to put a cross stitch on top of. I know I've seen Priscilla and Chelsea. They've done, I'm not, I don't remember which chart they use, but they put it on something kind of similar to this. So a lot of their charts would probably fit on this. And it was really cheap, you guys. Everything was so cheap at Hobby Lobby. It's already all on sale. And if yours is anything like mine, when you see it and you like it, you better buy it because you'll go back and it won't be there. So go check out what they have. Really cute stuff. And then the last thing for my haul, last video, I mentioned Small Town Needleworks. I ordered a project bag from them and I love it. It also, I also got the cross stitch clutch that matches. It came in like, I think you could get, I'm not sure if it was this bag, but they had a similar bag by itself or you could get the bag clutch combo. So I went for that. It has a little tag to put your needle. Your floss will stick to this. It's made really well. And then the bag is so cute. I love this fabric has a little crocheted pull on the zipper. Again, I will link their Etsy shop in my show notes. Really great quality and super good price. So if you're looking for project bags, check them out. You will not be disappointed. Okay, I think that's all I have for you guys this time. I will be back with another floss tube in three weeks. I will also get that ruffle tutorial filmed I'll have that up next week, so watch for that if you're interested. And then if you don't follow me on Instagram, go over there and give me a follow. I'm 
I would love to follow you back. It's the Cross Stitch Farmhouse spelled exactly the same as it is on here. And again, I just want to say thank you for a thousand subscribers. It's crazy to me, um, but I'm happy you're here and I hope I can continue to show stuff that you want to watch because I love doing this. Um, I won't see you again before St. Patrick's Day. So if you celebrate, happy St. Patrick's Day, have fun, drink a green beer or eat some green eggs or something, you know, <laughs> um, but have fun with that. And then to everybody in the Ukraine, I know we have a couple cross stitch members over there, so I'm keeping you all in my thoughts. I can't even imagine, but I hope you guys are staying safe and for everybody else, I hope you're doing well, staying safe, and I hope you get lots of stitching time in. So until next time, guys. Bye.